I will show you how to set up ManyChat for Instagram in 2025. And ManyChat is one of the best tools to generate leads and make money from Instagram. But most people are actually using it wrong. I've personally used ManyChat to generate thousands of leads and sales for big Instagram accounts like Awakening with Brian, Yulia Fraticelli, and Shruti Pangte. So today I will show you how to set it up and how you can start collecting leads and make money from your DMs. And we are going to do that in just two simple steps. First, we will set up your ManyChat account and then we will create our first DM automation so that you can start with collecting leads from Instagram. And I will also give you the template for free so that you can copy and paste it. Let's dive in. So to get started with ManyChat, you can just go to the link in the description and here you will also find my discount code. So if you use my link and use my discount code, you will get 30 days of the pro plan for free. And full disclaimer, this is an affiliate link. So if you use my link and pay ManyChat, I get a commission, but it doesn't have any influence on the price you pay. And it does help me with creating free videos like these. So you can either go to the link in the description or you can just go to chatomize.com slash MC and this will directly bring you to the ManyChat website. And then here you can just click on get started and then click on Instagram. And then you need to log in with your Facebook or with your Google account. And I actually have a separate video on my YouTube channel that explains how you can connect your Instagram account to ManyChat. So after you have watched this video, I highly recommend going to that video as well. So I already have an account, so I will just click here on sign in and then sign in with Facebook. So once you're logged into ManyChat, the first step that we will do is set up your ManyChat account. And we will start by setting up the live chat behavior. So if you go here to settings and then go to live chat behavior, then here we have it. And here it says any message starts a conversation. And what this basically means is that in ManyChat, we have two types of conversations. We have open conversations and closed conversations. Open conversations are conversations that should be handled manually, either by you or by someone on your team. Closed conversations are conversations that are handled by your automations. By default, ManyChat is set to any message starts a conversation. And what this basically means is that any message is an open conversation. But that's actually not something that you want. You want that each conversation is closed, so it's handled by your automations by default. And then whenever a human needs to look at it, so you or someone on your team, then you want to open it. And in order to get that behavior, that's the behavior that you want, you need to set it to conversation should be opened explicitly. So that means that each conversation is closed, so it's handled by your automations, unless a human needs to look at it. And then you, in your automations, you can determine yourself when you open up the conversation and we will just do that in a minute. So that's the first thing that you need to do. You need to set it to conversation should be opened explicitly. And then you also want to change the automation pass. So whenever you take over the conversation in the ManyChat live chat, then you can pass all of your automations for that specific person. And by default, that's set to 30 minutes. I set it to one day by default so that you have time to have it like a back and forth conversation with that person. Right. So that's the first thing that you set up is the live chat behavior. Then the second step that we will do is we are going to Instagram and we will set up the default reply. So the default reply is the automation that triggers if someone sends you a DM and it is not handled by any of your automations. And this basically happens when someone sends you a question in the DMs and you manually need to answer that question. Then basically the default reply triggers. So we are going to create a new reply here. And what we'll do is we set the user sends a message. It needs to be set to every time and we will not automatically reply to it. What we will do is we will assign the conversation to you or someone on your team and we will send you a notification that you need to look at it. So what we can do is we can remove this reply and then here we can add an action and here we can add three specific actions. So the first action that we will add is we can go to live chat and then we will mark the conversation as open. So this means, okay, you or someone on your team needs to look at it. So then the second action is again live chat and then go with assign the conversation. So here you can assign the conversation to a specific team member or to a group of team members. So in this case, I would just assign it to myself. And then lastly, you can notify someone in your mini chat team. So here you can click on notify SNEs and then you can set it to Full name just did something you want to know about. So you can change this notification text. So here you can, for example, say full name has a question. And then you can click here on the brackets or you can just type in a bracket. And then you can go with the last text input. So that means that, for example, if I have a question, then it says Joran has a question and then basically the question that someone asked. So that's basically the default reply. 
we can set it up and now we can set it live. So what this basically will do is that anytime someone has a question you manually need to look at, then we will mark the conversation and we assign the conversation to someone on your team and they get a notification via email. So they get notified that they need to look at it. So that's basically the second step of what we do. And then the last step what we do is that we structure all of our automations. And I've seen hundreds of ManyChat accounts and most of them aren't structured at all. And it's just good practice to have a good structure and a good overview of all of your ManyChat automations because otherwise it just becomes a big mess. So if you go to the automation tab here, we currently have created one automation, which is the Instagram default reply. And what I do for each ManyChat account is we basically create three folders. One folder is evergreen. So this basically contains evergreen automation. So these are automations that always work, such as the default reply. So we can just drag this into this folder. Then we have one for funnels. So this is basically where I create my funnels or my DM automations. And then lastly, we have one for support. So for support, we basically use that when we want to automatically reply to questions, all of the automations we use for these, that's what we do in support. So that's basically how we basically set it up and how we structure all of our automation so you have a good structure in your ManyChat account. So now that we have set up our ManyChat account, the next step is to create our DM automation to start collecting leads from Instagram. And in the rest of this video, we will create a lead generation funnel. So we will give something away for free. And then in return, we ask for someone's name and we ask for someone's email. And once we got that, then we deliver the free thing. And I will just use a content creation starter pack as an example. So we are giving away a content creation starter pack for free. And then in return, we ask for someone's name and for someone's email. So what you can do is here, you can just go to funnels so we are in the funnels folder and then you can create a new folder called the lead generation funnel and then inside this folder we basically will create two automations so we can start with the first one i start from scratch and i will basically call this lead generation funnel and then confirm interest so we basically want to confirm the interest in the thing that they will get and each automation in ManyChat starts with a trigger. So the trigger is the event that starts the automation. And in this case, we want to start the automation when someone DMs us with a specific word or when someone comments a specific word. So what we can do inside our Instagram content is we can say, hey, we have a content creation starter pack. If you want to get it, please comment pack below. And once they do that, we send them an automatic DM and we automatically reply to that comment. And then inside our Instagram stories, we can say, Hey, we have a content creation starter pack, please DM us pack and we will send it to you. Right? So that's basically how we will set it up. So we have two triggers. One is the comment trigger. One is the DM trigger. So let's set these up. So here you can just click on new trigger, go with user comments on your posts or reel. And then I set it up to all posts or reels. Basically, the reason why we do that is then we can just create one automation and then reuse that across all of our posts and reels. Then we can go with a specific keyword. So like I said, we will say comment pack below. So what we can do here is we can set up the keyword pack and then I also add some misvariations here, some misspellings. So it could be that people misspell the words. So in that case, you just want to have some variations here. And then lastly, we have the public reply. So the public reply is the automatic comments that we can reply to the original comment. So they reply with pack, and then we can automatically reply to that comment in the comment section. And what you want to do inside this public reply is you want to say, hey, can't wait for you to get started with this. You basically want to excite them for what they will get. And then you say, okay, please go to your DMs, right? So you want to direct them to the DMs. So I would just copy this from my second screen. But here we, for example, can say, just drop the starter pack in your DMs, check your message request if you don't see it. So it could also be in their message request folder. So I always say, okay, check your message request if you don't see it, like give them a little nudge there. Then here we say, boom, send it over. You're gonna love this, check your DMs and message request. And then lastly, we can say, let's go. Your creation starter pack is waiting in the DMs. Check message request folder if you don't see it. What ManyChat will do is it will just randomly pick one of these replies so it doesn't look spammy, right? So we can set it up like this. We will just save this and that is working. So that's basically our first trigger, right? So this will work for comments. And then the second trigger is for user sends a message. So if they send you a message with pack, then we also want to start this funnel. So here we will set the, if the message begins with pack, and then I will also add some variations here. So it could be that people are using quotes or people are misspelling this or any kind of way. Then we add this as well, 
right? So this is basically how we set it up. We set it to trigger. So when they comment back or when they DM us back, then we start this funnel. Then with this first message, it is really important that this is set to send as a comment reply. If you don't set it to send as a comment reply, it will not work. So in this first message, what you want to do is you want to confirm the interest in the freebie. So in our pack. And what's really important here is don't send people to a landing page. I've seen this many times over and over and over. Like many people are making this mistake. They just use ManyChat to send a link to the landing page. You shouldn't do that. A landing page has a conversion rate of 5%. So that means that if 100 people come to your landing page, only five people will sign up. If you use the lead generation funnel that we will create in the rest of this video, you will get 50% or more. That's like the stats that we see with our own clients. So you will get 50% or more. So you can basically 10 extra leads by changing from a landing page to a chat funnel. So don't use ManyChat to just send links. Use it to have a back and forward conversation with the lead generation funnel that we will create over here. So in this first message, what we will do is we will uh, confirm the interest in what they will get. So we say, looks like you're serious about growing your audience and turning content into cash. Get instant access to my free content creator starter pack, including content scripts, growth tips, and using the exact tools I use to grow and monetize my brand. Just click the button below or reply with grow to get your free guide now. So that's basically what we do. And then here we can add a quick reply. So a quick reply is a button that people can click on, right? So here we can add a quick reply. We always add an emoji, so the CTR is higher, so the click-through rate is higher. More people will click on it. And then we say, yes, send it over. So there are two ways on how people can go to the next message. They can either click on this quick reply, or they can reply with grow. And the reason why we say or reply with grow is because if people use Instagram on a desktop, they cannot see this quick reply. Like the quick reply will not appear. And this is basically a limitation of Instagram and from Meta. It isn't a ManyChat thing. So that's basically the reason why I say or reply with grow so that people, if they are on Instagram desktop, they can just type in grow. So in order to make that work, we actually need to create another ManyChat automation. So we'll go to automation, go to funnels, lead generation funnel, and then we'll create a new one where we say lead generation funnel. And then the second step is like get information. And then here we add another trigger, which is the DM. So here we say user sends a message. And then if the message begins with grow or like grow with a double quote, grow with a single quote or like something like this, uh, then this will start. And then here we can just put in test so that it like it basically works. And then what we can do here is we can connect this to each other. So when they click on this quick reply, then they can go to that second step, right? And set us live. So what this basically means is that if they click on the quick reply, if they are on mobile, then they go to the next step. And if they reply with grow, which we set up the trigger over here, then they go to the next step as well. So as our next step, what we want to do is we basically want to say to people, okay, it only takes you two steps. And then we want to ask for their name and we want to ask for their email. So that's what we will do right now. So what we will say here, is we will say, awesome, just a few quick steps to get you access. And then we say a delay. So we add a three second delay. And then we will add a data collection element. So in order to ask information from someone and store that data inside ManyChat, you need to use the data collection element. So here we can say, what is your first name? Just type in your name below. And then we can set the contact reply, the reply type, we will set it to first name. We will set the data collection expires to 23 hours. So that means that people have 23 hours to respond to this message. And then we'll just remove the skip button text so people cannot skip this question. And then once they reply with their name, then we can directly use that information in our funnel. So here we can say, nice to meet you. And then you can either click on these brackets or you can just type in a bracket. And then you can say, nice to meet you first name. So you can directly personalize the conversation, which improves basically the experience that people will have with your funnel. So then we can add another delay and then we'll ask for their email, right? So we can use another data collection element and then we can say, and on what email do you want to receive your pack? Just type in your email below. 
And how you basically phrase this is really important. So we basically say, and on what email do you want to receive your pack? And that basically implies like we need your email in order to send the pack. And that gives people a reason to give their email. And if you give a reason why people should give their email, the chance that they will actually give it is way higher. So that's basically how we frame it and the reason why we phrase it like that. So here we will set the contact reply to uh, email. And then when we do that, ManyChat will automatically check if the given email is in the format of an email. So for example, if someone just replies with their name, ManyChat will automatically say, please enter a correct email address. So we can change this message to, it looks like this isn't a correct email. Could you enter a correct email below? Right, and then we can add another emoji here. And then again, we will remove the skip button text and we will set the data collection expires to 23 hours. So people have 23 hours to reply to this message. And then once we get their name and once we get their email, then we can basically deliver our pack. So then we can say, okay, you're all set first name. Can't wait for you to get started with creating content. Just click the button below to get instant access. And then here we can add a button and the button title will be access free pack. And then we can open up the website. So this will either go to a Google Drive or this will go to a website URL where you basically have stored your free pack, right? So for now, I'll just do type in my own website URL, but you need to type in the URL where you have stored basically your free thing. So that's basically how you set it up. So here you can just update this and then this is working. So basically how this will work is like, if anyone comments with pack or they send you a message with pack, then we send them this message. Then if they click on this quick reply or they reply with grow, then we say, okay, awesome. Just a few quick steps to get you access. What is your name? And we say, nice to meet you. And on what email do you want to receive your pack? Just type in your email below. And then we say, okay, you're all set first name. Can't wait for you to get started with creating content. Just click the button below to get instant access to the pack. So that's basically how that works. And then what you can also can do is you can also connect ManyChat to your email platform as well. So this is basically a quick tip. So if you go to settings over here and then go to integrations, then ManyChat has a lot of pre-built integrations. So they have like Google Sheets, they have ChatGPT, Claude, but they also have like Clavio, ActiveCampaign, MailChimp. And what you can do over here is that you can connect your ManyChat account, for example, to MailChimp. And then once you got someone's email, what you can do here is with the action on reply, we can add an action here. And then we can, oh, MailChimp doesn't show up here. But let's say we would go with the Google Sheet, for example. Then uh, we can go with insert row. Right, And then we can just add the data from ManyChat to a specific Google Sheet. And it basically works similar if you use MailChimp or if you use ActiveCampaign, like that all works in the same way. It's like when you connect them, like an action will show up over here and you can basically add people to your email list and then you can build your email list as well. Now we have created the automation. Let's show you how this looks on Instagram. So now I'm on Instagram and then if I go to one of my posts and just reply with pack then i automatically get a dm which looks like you're serious about growing your audience and turning content into cash just click the button below or reply with grow so i just click here on the quick reply that's awesome just a few quick steps to get you access what is your first name so i can just type in my name nice to meet you joran and on what email do you want to receive your pack? Just type in your email below. So then I type in my email. It says, you're all set, Joran. Can't wait for you to get started with creating content. Just click the button below to get instant access. And then when you click on this button, that will go to your freebie. But in my case, it will go to my website. And that's how you can set up ManyChat for Instagram in 2025 and start collecting leads. And if you want to get started with this today, you can just go to the link in the description and download my free template. But this is just one of the ways how you can automatically reply to Instagram DMs. The next step is to automatically reply to questions using AI. So if you want to get started with that, please check out this video.